Howdy folks, Eric Mold Warrior here. I guess I've realized, it's been made very clear to me, that uh, thinking that people would be interested in the chronic fatigue syndrome was the absolute worst mistake of my life. And that in fact, all people want to have this incident suppressed. Now, how are you going to do that? You're asking for research into chronic fatigue syndrome, funding. You're trying to raise awareness. How do you uh, think you're going to get away with completely cutting out the very inception of this syndrome? It's a good trick. Even if you were to come and murder me, hide the body somewhere, throw it in the Truckee River, if anybody were to actually come back to the inception of this syndrome, they would still stumble, stumble over the evidence anyway. They would probably see the sick buildings involved and realize what it was. So this uh, concept that you're going to completely cut the beginning of the syndrome out of the deal is a real mystery to me. Now I realize that there's a movement to change the name to ME. And let's just forget about the CFS part. Well, I wonder if you can talk all researchers into seeing it that way. Some of them might actually not realize that they're not supposed to ever look at that part of the evidence. They might stumble into it. So it's gonna be an interesting trick. So keep on, keep on asking for funding for research. And let's see if it happens. Because if it does, all chronic fatigue syndrome paths lead straight back to the Lake Tahoe incident. There's no getting around it. Sorry.